what I'm going to teach you is when you're fighting, if you're in an on guard position, you want to, you know, when somebody's throwing a punch, you want to be able to high walk. Counter punch, punch, hook, then get right back behind the head, headbutt him. That's one type of thing I'm going to show you. Um, another one would be the I want to say Perry Backfist to hammer strike to the side of the face and then rich in to the throat. That'll be two combinations. Again, we're gonna high block, punch, punch. Grab that behind the head, and then I'm gonna have butt. One, 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 one. one. This is for in close fighting. So if you're up close, your opponent throws a hook, bam, counter punch, punch, grab behind the head. Bam, hit them with your forehead onto their nose. That'll be two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. side one two three four five six Oh, 
on, let me just go on. Very step side, back fist, hammer fist, step over, bridge hand. So it'll be very step over, back fist, step back, hammer fist, and reach hand. That'll be two. Three. Watch how my feet are doing. Either way, it could be a slap or a ridge hand, and a hammer fist, it don't matter, but this is how I'm doing it. Mix it up if you want. Other side again it's the pivot back fist hammer fist to the face and then reach in to the throat Six. 
six. Seven. Eight. There you have it, two basic drills you can do on the heavy bags of so, uh, four. Train hard, train smart. Um, so like I said, you can do it solo but without the bag. But the bag is more beneficial because you can hit something solid. But when you're doing it in the air, it's just drills you can just do. So it's a block. Jab, cross, hook, headbutt, and then this one, it's parry, back fist, step over, hammer strike, pivot, and rich hand. Again. It'd be very bad fist, hammer, hammer fist, and then rich hand to the throat. It's a little maneuver footwork. Um, I normally don't do a whole lot of footwork drills into my training, but you know, if you're a fighter, you know, you just can't really be. Stationary, you gotta keep moving, you know, move around. No time on those. Really stay stationary, but if you stay stationary, it's good to work on drills. But um, always try to move around with them. I'm doing them in sequels, like <laughs> you know, you start off with high block, punch, punch, hook, headbutt, and boom, boom. Punch, punch, knee, elbow, and then punch, punch, hook, roundhouse, and then back fist, hammer, rich hand. You know, you can do it, you can do it all, you can do it all until like a sequel drill. Um, I'm going to show that. 
part in the next video on how I'm going to do it. Um, you know, you can add different techniques from each style. You know, karate, taekwondo, boxing, um, making your own way into training. Um, that's what I do. I mean, plus I learn from other videos, you know, kind of get ideas, but I always make it my own way. I don't try to mimic anybody else's. Um, but if I get an idea off of it, you know, I might say, hey, I might use that little bit of it in there, but I'm not, I'm not going to use somebody else's um, ideas off videos. Usually this is stuff I learn of books, um, off DVDs. Um, basically just, you know, learning on my own over the years, you know, just kind of messing around a little bit off and on and kind of making up my own stuff as I go along um, some of my stuff still needs a little work on but you know I'm learning as I go along because I'm filming myself for you guys plus I go back and watch myself on how I do it so it'll help me improve on what I need to improve on um, on my techniques when teaching it but in a real fight you ain't gonna be able to do everything perfectly you know, grills are always good to do. Um, you know, you can do. You know, you can do the. You know, do hand drills. You know, st shit stationary, wherever. You know, as a workout. But um, in a real fight, you ain't gonna do them pretty. You know, you ain't gonna do them perfect. You know, you're gonna just throw however you wanna throw them. And you're just gonna get in and get out, and wham! You know, you, you know, do a sloppy rich hand, you know, maybe a, a sloppy hammer fist, but you ain't never gonna do it perfect in a fight. You know, if it's choreographed for fighting, then yes, you can do it perfect in a choreographed for fight off moves and stuff, but it's all fake. Um, because like I said, my stuff is not for sport, it's for self-defense. I teach it more of a self-defense aspect. So, if you think this is going to win you in a sport fight, sport ring, you're, you're wrong. It's self-defense only. Seven Donald Four signing out. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification, and... You'll get all my videos and see you in the next video. Train hard, train smart, and do your research. Peace.